What else was there? Wait, well, you did mention what might be one of our most effective better angels. Reason. Ah, uh, we have this time running game related to it. Ah, um, annyer, we have a lot of annyer in it. That is privileged alkaru, corrupt alkaru, which is back in the annyer. All are annyer. That is our name. Gotram. That is part of the all are annyer. Pinnide, our empathy is circling and we get it, we get Rajya Mahogayum, Lawak Mahogayum, Manisha Mahogayum, Anum Panna Mukhya Mahogayum, Pinnna. I know upper Murgangal and Gudul Pudigim, Okachi in the Ridi Lambda, circle of empathy because he can. Isn't the very caranum reason? Yukti in the Anna and then Rebecca, Newberger Parin, Stephen Pinker of Adikan. Reason has reason has muscle. It's reason that provides the push to widen that circle of empathy. Every one of the humanitarian developments that you mentioned originated with think who gave reasons for why some practice was indefensible. They demonstrated that the way people treated some particular group of others was logically inconsistent with the way they insisted on being treated themselves. Are you saying that reason can actually change people's minds? Don't people just stick with whatever conviction serves their interests or conforms to the culture that they grew up in? Here's a fascinating fact about us. Contradictions bother us, at least when we're forced to confront them, which is just another way of saying that we are susceptible to reason. And if you look at the history of moral progress, you can trace a direct pathway from reasoned arguments to changes in the way that we actually feel. Time and again, a thinker would lay out an argument as to why some practice was indefensible, irrational, inconsistent with values already held. Their essay would go viral, get translated into many languages, get debated at pubs and coffee houses, at salons and at dinner parties, and influence leaders, legislators, popular opinions. Eventually, their conclusions get absorbed into the common sense of decency, erasing the tracks of the original argument that had gotten us there. Few of us today feel any need to put forth a rigorous philosophical argument as to why slavery is wrong or public hangings or beating children. By now, these things just feel wrong. But just those arguments had to be made, and they were in centuries past. Are you saying that people needed a 